Low mold pellets have won international awards for design, low weight, performance and functionality, but these features are only possible because of the way in which it is manufactured. Low mold uses 25mm granules of long glass reinforced thermoplastics as the raw material for its pellets. This material is used extensively in the automotive industry to replace steel because of its proven strength and performance. The low mold process separates the melting and molding stages using a low shear screw to melt material and then a piston system to deliver material into the mold through a very large gate that can be up to 100 millimeters in diameter. These features are unique to the low mold process and have been designed to preserve the length of the glass fibers into the final product. Keeping the fibers long is critical and is what gives low mold pallets its unprecedented strength to weight performance. All material conveying equipment and systems have also been adapted to handle the extra length granules, ensuring that the machine can be run in full automatic mode with no interruptions. The operation, infrastructure, space and services required are basically identical to that of injection molding. In fact, about 80% of a low mold machine is standard injection molding equipment such as the clamping unit and machine base. Quick cycles are another hallmark of the low mold process. This pallet has a shot weight of 8.5 kilograms that is fully injected in just 7 seconds. Cooling takes 53 seconds, while mold opening, injection and closing takes another 20 seconds, resulting in a total cycle time of just 80 seconds. Molded pallets are then ejected and dropped onto a conveyor, saving up to 10 seconds per cycle compared to using a robot. At the receiving station, an operator fits pallets with a temporary barcode and two permanent RFID tags in opposing corners. Finally, the RFID tags are scanned into the database. The pallet is quality checked and then stacked, ready for shipment.